Rita Wilson and Tom Hanks hit a new record for Hollywood relationships, an impressive 35 years of marriage. While Hanks was first married to the late actress Samantha Luz from 1978 to 1987, their relationship just wasn't meant to be. The actor then finally met Rita Wilson on the set of his 1980s TV show Bosom Buddies, which starred the future Oscar winner as one of two friends who disguised themselves as women in order to live in a cheap apartment building. In season two, Rita appears as Cindy in the episode All You Need Is Love. Then the two reunited on the set of the movie Volunteers in 1985. The couple eventually got married in 1988, one year after Hanks' divorce. The longtime couple, who now have two adult sons, have supported one another through their careers, plus even some health obstacles, like Rita's breast cancer diagnosis in 2015. Pauletta Pearson and Denzel Washington are another celebrity couple with a lot of history. They've been married for nearly four decades, and also are parents to four children. The two actors have had their ups and downs over the years, but stayed together through thick and thin. Denzel and Pauletta first met on the set of the 1977 TV movie Wilma, which was actually Denzel's first on-screen acting role. They started dating one year later. The Academy Award-winning actor proposed three different times before Pauletta finally accepted, and they said I do in 1983, and then they renewed their vows in 1995. David and Victoria Beckham have been in the public eye for decades, and yet their romance remains an inspiration to many to this day. In what the two both deem as love at first sight, Victoria, or as we knew her, Posh Spice, first met the soccer player during one of his games while she was a singer in the Spice Girls, but he first fell for her when he watched her perform on television. The Spice Girl and the soccer player got married just two years later, in 1999. They have managed to raise four children, sons Brooklyn, Romeo, and Cruz, and daughter Harper, all while navigating their careers, which sometimes intertwined. They also rely on each other to overcome struggles, including the never-ending gossip mill that seems to revolve around their life. Allegations of infidelity and rumors of divorce have plagued the twosome throughout the course of their marriage, but so far, they have remained united. Country music superstars Tim McGraw and Faith Hill have music to thank for their long love story. Tim and Faith first crossed paths in Nashville at a country radio seminar showcase for new talent. At the time, they were both in other relationships, and Faith was actually engaged. But by 1996, the two finally got together during McGraw's spontaneous combustion tour, and this is where Tim popped the question. Shortly after their wedding, Tim and Faith showed up at the American Music Awards together. Faith showed off a growing baby bump. More than two decades later, they are parents to three daughters, and they continue to make music together. Sarah Jessica Parker and Matthew Broderick bonded over a shared love of musical theater during the 1990s, and nearly 30 years after meeting, they keep the music and their relationship alive. Matthew was introduced to his future wife thanks to two of Sarah's brothers, Pippin and Toby, who helped start a theater company in New York City. It wasn't until a few months later that the Ferris Bueller's Day Off star asked her out on a date. Sarah would go on to star alongside Matthew on Broadway for the first time in 1996, where they appeared in How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. Less than a year later, and several years into their relationship, they decided to marry. The couple exchanged vows in 1997, and they welcomed their first child, son James, in 2002. Seven years later, they again became parents to twin girls, Marion and Tabitha, this time via surrogate. Sarah Michelle Gellar and Freddie Prinze Jr. were a 90s it couple, and they're still going strong even today. Freddie was starring in She's All That, while Sarah had the lead in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. But it was in the 1997 movie I Know What You Did Last Summer that they made an instant connection. Fast forward a few years, and the two were officially dating. Then in 2002, they tied the knot in Mexico. That same year, the two reunited on screen to play Fred and Daphne in the live-action Scooby-Doo movie, and they would later make a 2004 sequel. The 90s sweethearts have welcomed two children, daughter Charlotte and son Rocky. 
Throughout their relationship, they have managed to keep their family life pretty private, but the actors occasionally give fans a peek at their home life and share secrets to staying together. Nicole Kidman and Keith Urban's relationship has truly proven it can stand the test of time. Having been together since 2005, the pair have one of the longest running Hollywood romances around. The actress and the country music star both grew up in Australia, but they didn't cross paths until they were adults on the other side of the world. The pair had an instant attraction when they first met in 2005. They started dating a few months later and got married rather quickly in 2006. Nicole and Keith tied the knot in a beachside ceremony in Sydney. Nicole's children, Isabella and Connor, whom she shares with ex Tom Cruise, were also part of the couple's big day. From managing Keith's alcohol and drug addiction to balancing their busy careers, the two have also managed to raise two children, all this while maintaining a strong marriage. In 1995, Judd Apatow met Leslie Mann at an audition for his film The Cable Guy, and it didn't take him long to fall hard for the actress. After some persistence, Judd convinced Leslie to join him for a night out at a basketball game, and Leslie decided the next morning she was in love. Judd maintains it was love at first sight for him. A year after their first film together hit theaters, Judd and Leslie tied the knot in a small ceremony in Hawaii. Six months later, the couple welcomed their first child, Maud, and in 2002, they expanded their family once more with the birth of their second daughter, Iris. The girls have appeared in a handful of their parents' movies, including Knocked Up, Funny People, and This Is 40, which proved to create an interesting and hilarious working dynamic. Following the release of This Is 40, Judd shared the key to making his marriage with Leslie work. He explained that not only do they like working together, but they get along better during the creative process. Julia Roberts and her husband Danny Motor have been together for more than 20 years. Julia and Danny's love story all started in 2000, when the actress and cinematographer first felt a spark. At the time, the Notting Hill star was dating Benjamin Bratt, and Danny was married to another woman so they didn't pursue a relationship until after his divorce in 2002. On July 4, 2002, the couple married at Julia's ranch in Taos, New Mexico. The ceremony was kept secret, with guests invited to simply celebrate Independence Day. But at midnight, flickering candles and Chinese lanterns appeared, and the couple surprised the crowd by stepping into a circle of scattered rose petals to exchange simple handwritten vows. They welcomed twins Phineas and Hazel in 2004, and their third child, Henry, was born in 2007. Julia is happy with the life they have built, and says it's the best thing to come home to at the end of the day. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything, and maybe even consider supporting the channel over on Patreon. If you enjoyed this video, consider watching this playlist, and then visit the channel to search the Recollection Road Library. As always, thank you so much for watching.